Speaking of chin insurance, Tony Harrison stopped by Tim Zoo. Yeah. It's like the ninth round. Ninth round. Congratulations to Tim Zoo. Yep. But let's all be real. We all been around this game for a long time. Those on the inside, they that really know. From the looks of it, this is not an excuse. This is not an excuse. This is not an excuse. This is just my observation. Tony Harrison was in Australia <laughs> fucking all week. Not fucking all week, but fucking having sex all week. You cannot tell me he wasn't. His tick, his tick wasn't there at all. But I mean by tick, head movement, his timing, keeping that left hand low. I mean, shit that just, it just wasn't making sense. If you know this kid got a good right hand, why are you carrying that left hand so low? And I'm not making an excuse again. I'm just saying, it's just what I think happened. He was probably, he was probably excited, nervous energy, having fun. Cause it seemed like he was having a lot of fun by the shit he was saying. But Tony, nah, he wasn't there, bro. And, and I'm gonna keep it real, Tony, Tony Harrison, Tony Harrison, he got a big ass head. There's no reason you don't got that left hand up. There's no reason. Then, then he had a he had a good first round with that jab. He had a good first round with that jab. He was popping that jab. But what was odd about what was odd about it was he was landing the jab, but wasn't no right hand coming behind it. Wasn't a hook coming behind it. Wasn't nothing coming behind it. It was like he just was trying to carry himself. It was. It, it just looked weird, man. I mean, he ain't look like, and I'm not making excuse, he lost. Best man won, which, which was Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo kept the pressure. Tim Zoo stayed focused. Tim Zoo showed me some good uh, reflexes. And I mean, he Did you see any improvements from the well, Goucher Tim fight Zou? till now? Yeah, he looked like he, he looked like he, um, he was working, for one, he was working behind that jab, but he was, he was really confident. You could tell that uh, Tim Zoo was very confident and he moved his head a little bit. But I, I like the counter shots. I mean, he counter with a, with a with a uppercut. I seen him counter with that right hand. Sometimes with the hook. Um, what I didn't like was he didn't go to the body enough. Tim Zhu, I think he should go to the body a little more, especially when you got a guy that's tall like that. Like like Tony Harrison, pretty tall guy, so about six one. So I think he should have been going to the body. But Tony Harrison, I mean, got too much skills to go out like that. Too much skills to go out like that. So he even like four straight uppercuts. Yeah, he was getting cracked with that right hand, man. That right hand was crushing him. Especially the last the last round when he got cracked, he turned, looked down a little bit. It's like he couldn't, he wasn't even paying attention no more. He was done. He was getting cracked with that right hand. But I I don't know what was going on in camp. I I can't speak on that. The instructions I was hearing, I didn't like, honestly. Um and I think, and that's no attack. And his coach, it's not no attack because, like I said, what I was hearing, I didn't hear everything. I didn't hear every little thing. And I watched the fight two times. But it was just that his legs was flat. His head movement was flat. He had no rhythm. Tony Harrison usually danced a little bit for you. you know mm -hmm. I mean, boss, even when he fought Charlo, he was using them legs a lot better. But just wasn't there for him. He wasn't there.